Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, for tonight's show, we have another pattern developing, and I want to bring it to you, and I want to know what you guys think, and let me know if I'm off my rocker or if you see it here, too. I presented it as best I can, but I think there's something happening with the ghost gun thing. I know. We've talked about it ad nauseum in the past two weeks. I've had two or three, well, actually, really, two bullet points episodes devoted to ghost guns and articles about those ghost guns, but I'm starting to see a pattern because now Diane Feinstein has jumped into the race. This is interesting. And we're going to talk about everything. Everything is linked in the description box below. But before I get into that, I want you guys to check out the bullet points episode we did earlier today. This is all about a CBS special where it actually didn't mention anything about gun control, all about the root cause analysis of what's causing the gun violence that the media is so fond of reporting on. It's linked in the description box below. There's a thumbnail right here and a card right here. Check that out because it's impactful. It's important. All right. But let's get back to this pattern developing because ghost guns is back and I think it's gonna be the new norm. Walk me, I'm gonna walk you through this, let me know what you think, but check this pattern out that's developing. Here's a short little timeline the past week and a half, then we'll get to the point. Opinion, this is on August 16th. If ghost gun violence epidemic is imminent, Baltimore needs the ATF. Okay, that was on the 16th. Opinion, Senator Feinstein writes, our bill would close the ghost gun loophole. Okay, well that was written on the 24th, okay? untraceable ghost guns are a threat it's time we ban them august 27th interesting in a 10-day span all the references to ghost guns and editorials and opinions on ghost guns now what could be the cause of that it's important okay but now here i'm going to draw a, co a correlation to something that we've seen in the past tell me in the comments field if this sounds familiar i mentioned this in one of the bullet points videos quote laws designed to reduce gun violence have too many loopholes and now a significant one is getting more worrisome, a rule that allows the proliferation of so-called ghost guns. This is the part that's going to sound familiar. The ghost gun loophole needs to be closed. Interesting. That's very interesting verbiage, and I even touched on it in one of our earlier bullet point episodes. I found that intriguing because it sounds extremely familiar to another previous gun control push. And this is the important piece that I want to talk about, because when you start to see these patterns... You start to see what they're doing, and I'm telling you, we can we can predict the future on this. Right now, on this channel, on Monday, we are going to predict that the, going forward, the new boogeyman from the left is going to be ghost guns. I'm going to walk you through what they've done in the past. Check this out. So the left always needs a boogeyman. You have to have a specter on the in the darkness that you can't control that's scary and terrifying to motivate people. That's one of the reasons that I don't like the leftist ideals and agendas is because they lead and motivate through fear, not through inspiration. That's why this channel is very positive. We can do anything if we unite in the same direction for a common goal and purpose because we're Americans and we have that right to do so. Woo! But that's the thing. The left doesn't do that. They instill and inspire through fear. Not cool. But check this out. This is the first one. About 10, 15 years ago, this was the main talking point, right around that Clinton era, era right after the 1994 assault weapons ban, the AWB, expired. The gun show loophole. It's important that we close the gun show loophole. I could pull up a million clips of Democratic politicians quoting that exact same phrase, the gun show loophole, because that's what Democrats do. On their talking points, they test it out in focus groups, and they keep it verbatim from the media all the way to politicians, to presidents, to senators, to House representatives, doesn't matter. They keep it the same, consistent message, right? Then that one kind of lost its effectiveness because that was not really true. Everyone knows there's not a gun show loophole because any uh, FFL dealer has to sell you a gun with a 4473. It's legally required nationally. Then we went to the AR-15 and weapons of war. Does that sound familiar? We're getting a little closer to the time. They started targeting assault weapons and AR-15s and weapons of war because they were scary. They were owned by a minority of the population at the time. And if they could ostracize that population, they can then move and slowly move the window this way. That one failed as well because there's been an explosion, uh, <laughs> an explosion of sporting rifles across the board. Now, check out the new one. Ghost guns. The ghost gun loophole must be closed. And that's the point of this video. It's not about talking about ghost guns. It's not talking about gun show loopholes. It's not about what they say. It's the pattern that they're developing. And I'm telling you, 
from what I'm seeing here, based off their past performance, it was gun show loophole, then it was assault weapons and weapons of war, and now it's going to be ghost guns. The article itself from Diane Feinstein that I'm that kind of inspired this and kind of like sealed the pattern for me, it says the exact same content that the other two that we've talked about. They're unserialized. They can be shipped to your door. It's terrifying. It's tor- it's horrible. Everything's included. All of it's misinformation and manipulation. But the important part here is they're starting to get verbiage the exact same across multiple cities and different editorials. One of these articles, Chicago. Diane Feinstein, San Diego. The other one, Baltimore. They're starting to circulate in their main circles, and that's what I want to talk about because that's what we're going to get in front of on this channel. And as always, cutting edge of the Second Amendment, and I love being here with you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and until tomorrow with bullet points, I'll see you then.